Two successive bad performances prompting Simon Stainrod to take the boots down off the nail. And the comeback started well, Dundee taking the lead in bizarre fashion after four minutes. Morton Vickhorst released John McQuillan on the right. Paul Tosh and Gary McEwen both went for it, but it was Sieb Dijkstra who made the contact and sent the ball spinning into his own net. It should have been 2-0 just three minutes later. New boy, Paul Tosh, eager to impress. Sending over an inviting cross, but Billy Dodds wasted the chance, and he knew it. Shortly after that, Tosh carved out a chance for his boss. Rounding McKinnon before cutting the ball back, Stainrod tried to be too elaborate with the finish and ended up making a hash of it. Tommy McLean wasn't happy with Motherwell's first half showing and no wonder. Even when they did get the ball into the Dundee box, they couldn't offer anything by way of a finish. Brian Martin and Dougie Arn at the culprits on this occasion. Dundee should have gone in at least two goals up. Billy Dodds made a great chance for himself a minute from the break after a mix-up between Dykstra and McKinnon. But with the goal gaping, they hit the side netting. It was a different Motherwell in the second half, and they were level within six minutes of the restart. It wasn't the prettiest of build-ups, but when Paul McGrillan laid the ball off to Rob McKinnon, he finished in style. Dundee hit back again, Tosh teeing up Gary McEwen, and it looked a goal all the way until the intervention of Dijkstra. Then the Motherwell goal survived a real scare. Dykstra and McKinnon again indecisive as John McQuillan closed in, but there were no takers for his chip across goal. Over the piece, Motherwell looked the more likely to score, and they did so in 72 minutes. Paul McGrillan, the maker and the taker, playing a 1-2 with Dougie Arnott and tucking the ball home. Motherwell finished the stronger team, O'Donnell setting up McKinnon for a long-range effort. It went over, but Motherwell got the two points that put them second in the league. Turning point was um, the half-time team talk. It was a wee bit, you know, just kind of try to get our heads up, and you know, we, we knew ourselves it was a bad first-half performance. So, you know, we couldn't really do much worse. So we went out and we, you know, we knuckled down, and we, I think at the end of the day, you know, we we battled back and got a good, a good two points, a great two points.